Alright guys, this is Sawyer again doing a feet video. This is basically a video where I want to show you some feet, some easy feet you can get while you're in the watchtower. This will be primarily just stuff you can get in the watchtower. Now, some of these will require you to have some marks of a uh, some marks of victory, but a lot of them just cost money, you know, cash, and some of them, and a couple of them you can just get easily. So based on so basically this is you know anytime you're sitting in the watchtower for a extended amount of time and you really have you know yeah, so anytime you're sitting in the watchtower and you have an extended amount of time on your hands you can go check some of these things out they're really easy first of all this is the war room which is right underneath the central hub of the watchtower easy to get to you click on these terminals and they have items you can buy this one's got helmets. The next one I think has legs and the next one has head and this stuff like that. And this is a really easy way to collect styles. Now most of these are just default styles that you get from, that you can get in the beginning of the game. But you can buy the ones you don't choose over here. And as you can see I've collected most of these. This is a really easy way to get a lot of achievement points off of styles. You can get the there's certain styles that you can get achievement for completing the style. Like for example uh, most of these, most of these you can't, some of them we can't have to see. If I can find one real quick. Like for example, you got the, the, the paramilitary, uh, style. You can collect that, if you get all the pieces of that style, you can, you can complete that feat, which you can pretty much do just through these terminals. Same thing with formal, uh, and a couple other ones. Now you can buy all these styles and you'll get, and you'll get, at least the first 250 style achievement or the 500 style achievement maybe maybe probably not the 500 style one but you'll work towards it and that's where a lot of this is is working towards achievements um so yeah you got that one and you got ones over here where you can buy this one you can buy emblems which will still count towards your emblem uh, your style bonus so you know and there's this one and, that, and this one will actually buy, let you get victory tokens but so you can easily do the victory token achievements, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not worth spending the marks of victory on these, where, where you could just get them from low end dungeons and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, you got this one's got exo bits. Oh, I need to buy some of these. This one's got exo bits, which is good, but that but doesn't really need to help us at all. Another way you can gain achievements through the war room is by fighting the uh, foreign targets. You see how this hit counter is going up? There's achievements for 25 on the hit counter, 50 on the hit, no, 25, I think 50, and then I think it's 75, and then I think it's 100. And you can get all the way to 100 through this just by hitting this target over and over and over. It's a very easy three or four achievements that you can get. Now most players will get these really easily, but you know, if you're a newer character, you probably don't have them yet. Okay. So that's pretty much all you can really get in the, in the war room. You, but if you spend, if you have enough money to buy all the different uh, styles in here, which is the, which will be a considerable lot of money, but money is not hard to get in this game once you start doing making money on the auction house. If you can sell a couple of items in the auction house, you'll have enough money to to buy anything in here. So if you buy all the all the stuff in this room, you'll probably have a good seven or eight st uh, achievements just off that, which is probably a, a skill or two. Uh, two skill points probably. I haven't really done the math on it, but I would imagine it's at least two skill points, which is a pretty good amount for not really doing anything, just spending a little bit of money. Let's go up here, and let's see what else can we find that's in the watchtower. We go over here to you can go over any wing, and you'll be able to get a few skill points. Um, Okay. Yes. So if you go to ah, right, here we go. You can go over here to the R and D section, which is in any the wings, and you can just you now th these might not you might not be able to get them right away, but you can get achievements easily. You can get the crafting achievements by making stuff. See, I can make some extra bits here, and there's an achievement for getting for making ten items. All you gotta do is make ten items. That's not that hard. Just build up the the supplies while you're working and do it. Here in, on the salvage section, I don't have anything to salvage right now, but 
there's items you can get that if you don't need them you can salvage them and I would recommend always salvaging items so you can get the materials off of them and you can get the achievement points for salvaging them there's one for salvaging I think 10 times and then 500 times and then I think it might go up after that but that's some easy achievements that you can work towards every time you're in the watchtower you can also uh, buy plans from this guy now I've already bought all the plans that cost normal money so now all that's left is the expensive ones that cost marks but these guys sell a whole bunch of plans that you can buy for ch super cheap and I recommend doing it so you can work towards your uh, plans achievement for getting like 25 plans, 50 plans, 60 plans, oh, something like that. So yeah, there's that's there's a lot of easier feats you can get for doing this. Also the broker is a great way to get achievements. You can just look in here and try to find really cheap pieces of armor to add to styles. Like for example, I don't have that one. This is on collections I think. But yeah, you can um get all kinds of cool stuff for here and I usually like to go to on here where it says name ascending and I go to price ascending which shows me the cheapest items first that way I can find cheap items to add in my styles because nobody wants to spend millions of bucks just to buy a style I mean nobody over here we go to the um you know the what vendor room where the the, 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 the and th now these these achievements will cost you some marks, but if you have extra marks, like if you're a high end player and you have extra marks, you're you're not gonna worry about it. You're just gonna you know pick this stuff up. You can buy the combinations which will work towards your renown achievements, which is you know if you have extra marks, go for it. You can also buy these styles. Like it only costs as many what's it one two three four five six seven eight nine costs about nine marks and you can complete a set you can do this on each wing so this is you can do this three times and get three achievements that are all worth I think 25 points a piece which is you know seven that's almost a whole skill point right there just for spending like 30 you know marks of valor or marks of victory they didn't need you can also you know, buy these and upgrade your renown so that's easy Ooh, Captain America he looks pretty cool alright I'm wasting time anyway what else can you do in here? Um, let's see. And basically, there's vendors all over the place in this in the Watchtower, like the iconic gear. And if those are, are those cost a lot more marks, but if you have a lot of extra marks, you can slowly complete those sets. But you're probably not going to have the extra marks to really complete those sets too often, especially when you're leveling. As you're leveling through the game, your marks are kind of important to you, especially the way they've changed the game nowadays. I just want to show you guys. If there's one more thing I would like to show you guys that I can think of right off the bat, and it's in here. All right, this is called the Legal the Legal Heroes. Uh, it's a, there's a lot of PVP vendors here, but this PVP vendor in particular has an item oh, called the Wingman's Nim Metal Trinket. I've already I already bought this. I don't I don't I don't but so I can't show you. But if you buy this, you will get an achievement, a 10 point achievement that is just super easy. All you have to do is buy this measly $130 item then you can just delete it or do whatever you want with it it's actually not a bad trinket for PvP especially if you're beginning but yeah you can just buy that and get it easy get it easy 5 points or 10 points so there's that and there's vendors over here for styles different styles you can get you know trench coat which is a really cool looking style and all these other styles I'm basically showing you guys this because people a lot of people don't realize that these are these are available you can get some pretty cool styles I mean you can get this cool looking black atom chest piece uh, and this really cool looking trench coat you're probably not going to be able to see with the way my gear looks already but yeah so there's those those achievements there and I think that's a I think that's the main ones that I wanted to cover uh, I'm sure there's other there's I'm sure there's other ones you can get in the watchtower there's tons of style achievements you can get in the watchtower but that's most of them so, and and you can go in rooms like here and there's usually iconic battle armors that you can buy this is another PvP vendor set but if you have PvP points like Marks of Valor you can buy these, these sets and idea, get them and you can earn this suit. This suit. so yeah guys thank you for watching I hope this helped you out uh, maybe you noticed something that you know even on town players sometimes don't realize certain things they can do in the watchtower you know certain styles we can pick up and stuff like that um, so if this helped you guys thank you I appreciate it and uh, see you guys later